Hi students, this is Mr. David and today I'm just going to tell you a little bit about how to improve your poetry skills. I call this one soap poetry. Okay, the reason why I call it soap poetry is because of this. S is for similes, similes. O is for onomatopoeia. That's quite a difficult word to say. So I'll say it slowly and then I'll say it at normal speed. Onomatopoeia or faster is onomatopoeia, okay? Alliteration and then personification, okay? Let me explain what those four things are using these next pictures, okay? So similes, similes, busy as a bee, okay? You can see here, or if I point here, busy as a bee, sparkle like diamonds, we're using the word like, sparkle like diamonds, hungry as a bear, flat as a pancake or hard as rock these are what we call similes when you're using as or like here are some more examples here i am as quick as a cheetah my eyes are as blue as the ocean my ears can hear like a rabbit my brain is as smart as a scientist my nose can smell like a bear and my heart is as big as an elephant. Okay, again, these are called similes. So that is S. Now the thing is, we have to understand similes and metaphors are not the same. They're similar, but they're not the same. So let's have a look. Her, uh, her heart is like gold, is a simile, is like. But the metaphor is when you say her heart is gold. Okay, it's not quite the same. It's similar, but different. Her heart is like gold, is a simile. Her heart is gold, is a metaphor. The next one, the world is like a stage. The world is like a stage, everyone is a performer. But if you say the world is a stage, it's slightly different and that is a metaphor. He eats like a pig, he eats very fast, he eats like a pig, simile. He is a pig, is a metaphor, he is a pig. Here, you're not saying he is a pig, but he eats like a pig, simile. You are like a rock. That means you are very strong. You're very stable. I can depend on you. Okay, someone you can trust. You are like a rock. But the metaphor, you are a rock. It doesn't mean that you are a stone, but it means you are very dependable. I can rely on you. You are a rock is a metaphor. You're like a rock is a simile. Your eyes are like sunshine. Okay, your eyes are like sunshine. So your eyes are very bright. But here, you are my sunshine. That means you're very bright, very happy, very cheerful, very positive, okay? Similes and metaphors, not quite the same. Now, O in S-O-A-P, soap, is onomatopoeia, okay? A word that imitates the sound it represents. That means words like splash, pop, and bang is onomatopoeia, okay? Words that make sounds. For example, if we can just lower it down a little bit, hold on, there we go. We have gush, okay? The flood water gushed through the town. Gush, the water is very noisy and is flooding through the town. It gush, okay? Hoot, the owl hooted in the tree. Or howl, okay? You have to use your mouth to say that one and use your mouth a lot. Howl, at night, the wind was howling in the darkness. A howl is a kind of whoo kind of noise, like a wolf will howl. So imagine if the wind is like a wolf. The wind is howling. Chatter, okay, chatter. My teeth chattered as I stood in the snow. Imagine you are very cold, your teeth are making a clang, 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 clang noise. And when, you, when, you, when you're very cold, okay, your teeth will chatter. That's the noise. Uh, pop, the corn went pop in the microwave. I don't need to explain that one. Crunch, crunch. The leaves crunched under my feet as I walked through the woods and beep. The car horn beeped loudly. Okay, so again, these are examples of onomatopoeia. So why don't you try, guys? Uh, here are some sentences, and I want you to try and think which ones they describe them. Okay, we've got the sound of a fire burning, a toilet chain being pulled, the telephone jumping in a swimming pool, a dog barking, a gunshot walking on gravel, gravel means stones, a window being broken and a light being switched off. Here are your options. 
Click, woof, crunch, crackle, smash, flush, ring, bang, and splash. Okay, one more time. Click, woof, crunch, crackle, smash, flush, ring, bang, and splash. These are your words. Um, take some time to think about it and pause the video because I'm about to give you answers in three, two, one, now. Hopefully, students, you have paused. I know some of you will be lazy and you have not paused and you're going straight to the answer. I'm very disappointed in you. The good students are ones who have paused and tried, okay? So the sound of a fire burning, sound of a fire burning, that would be a crackle, okay? The wood will crackle, make a crack, crack, crack noise. A toilet, uh, a toilet chain being pulled, that would be flush, okay? A toilet chain being pulled is flush. Uh, the telephone, the telephone here, the telephone that was going to make a ring noise, okay? Over here, let me use my fingers, it's going to be easier. Ring, okay? The telephone, ring, 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 ring. Jumping in a swimming pool, that is a splash. A dog barking, that is woof, woof, woof. A gunshot is a bang. Walking on gravel. That would be more of a crunch sound. Crunch, crunch, crunch. A window being broken. Let's have a look. Smash is a window. And a light being switched off is a click. Okay? That's onomatopoeia. Now we move on to the next one, which is called alliteration. Alliteration, the use of the same beginning consonant sound in a line or verse. If you're not sure what a consonant means, in the alphabet, how many letters are there? There are 26 letters, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way to X, Y, Z, 26 letters. However, there are 21 consonants because the vowels A, E, I, O, U, they are not consonants. A, E, I, O, U are vowels. Consonant would be the letters that are not vowels. For example, B, C, D, etc., etc. Okay? So, example. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. That is a tongue twister and it's alliteration. Here's a good example for you students. Say it together. I am so bored of being bored because being bored is so boring. However, when you say this at home students, try to say it in a voice with have intonation. The voice goes up and down because the Hong Kong style would be like this. It's, the Hong Kong style is very flat. I am so bored of being bored because being bored is so boring. That's the Hong Kong style, but I want you to speak with intonation. Again, I am so bored of being bored because, okay, the voice here, because, because being bored is so boring. Again, one more time. I am so bored of being bored because being bored is so boring. Again, alliteration. And the final one, S-O-A-P, P is personification. Examples, the car danced across the icy road. Can a car dance? No, but personification, you make it seem like it's dancing. The car danced across the icy road. The angry clouds marched across the sky. Clouds cannot march, only soldiers can march, but in this idea of personification, you make the clouds like a person. The clouds marched across the sky. The stars in the clear night sky winked at me. Okay, Winking is what you do with your eyes. Imagine if a boy saw a pretty girl and the boy winked at a girl. That's when you close your eye, one eye. Okay, Blink, B-L-I-N-K, blink is two eyes, wink is one eye. Again, the stars in the clear night sky winked at me. The stars cannot wink, but personification means that the stars are winking. And finally, the tulips, which are the flowers here, the tulips nodded their head in the breeze. The breeze is a wind. So imagine the flowers are in the uh, wind and then they're kind of like, they're dancing along, the wind is blowing them and then the tulips, the flowers, are nodding their head in the breeze. Then that is personification. So again, if we just go back to the first page, remember, similes, S, O, onomatopoeia, 
alliteration and personification. Okay, good luck students.